Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more of The Settlers, New Allies. Oh, it's good to be back to this game. Okay, so, where are we anyway? We're sort of just following the bouncing ball. We're getting the guild hall built at the moment. Build a guild hall and recruit a new engineer. So what we could even do is just right-click it, auto-recruit them. Might be a bad idea, might not be. I guess we'll find out. You can see there they go, they're carrying the hammers out. And what they'll do is they will use the hammer to start training. And they have these little canned animations, bit, you know, theme hospital-like. <laughs> and there you go, now we've got some new engineers. Fantastic. Advance further inland. Okay, well we can do that. Right? We'll go... Claim? Let's go there. What happens if I say, like, there? Gonna go engineer crazy now. Start working our way through. Okay, so let's sort of start evening out our, our economy in that. Now, I wouldn't mind building a forester. Now, in order to do that, I'm, I need excess hammers. So maybe I need to stop doing that. So let's get our hammers going. And uh, we're going to need excess trees. So maybe maybe we'll go a little bit burko on the logging camps. Oh, well, there's berries there. You don't want to... Don't want to go messing with them. There we go. Let's just do this. Do like a little... Little road into there, get all those trees chopped down. Ooh. Oos. Love to see it. This one will make nice logs out of you. Yeah, good. This is my easiest job today. Let me through. Um could probably do something with that there. This needs to be delivered. Oh, you can't get the road through there. Hang on. How do I demolish? Oh yeah, that'll work there. There you go, squeeze some in there. Mate, we're going logging camp crazy. Building is not collected with a warehouse. That's alright, we're getting there. All my engineers are busy, I sent a billion out here to expand. See now, this is the land that you prospect, you survey it. And it'll generate, uh, like, iron or stone. It won't just be the surface stones, because this stone's going to run out eventually. Here come the engineers. They're coming back to build everything, which is good. Um, one thing we could do, all this stone... I'm going to start building up the stone roads. I was going to wait to see if the tutorial would kick in. But once you've got stone roads, your horse and carts can travel. Well, even just your hand-drawn cart, sorry. So, it essentially upgrades your... ...logistics significantly. And that's going to keep my dudes busy for a while. Look at them carrying the little stones out. Here we go. So once the stone's delivered, the engineers will stop and build it up. <laughs> Someone whinging about having to carry this stone block. Look at that, we just went through 40 stone immediately. 
Just one more delivery. <laughs> I, I think the band is quite cute. You'll we'll cut that road in there as well. That makes a bit of sense. Let me through. Juice, they demolished this forest immediately. Look at that. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Something like that, right? I can carry any. No deliveries needed. Oh, there we go. Ouch. That road still there? It is. Very good. Well, that's one way to get rid of the forest in record time. I love our new homes. So there you go. You can see the old mate pulling the cart with extra supplies. Perfect. Oh, we need more, uh, need more quarries. Sorry, I could probably squeeze one here. That'll do. This isn't heavy at all. My hands hurt. Road path blocked. Oh, they're not for long. What did I want to pick up again? There we go. Well, let's send some engineers up here. I love hard work. Mate, I've got plenty for you then. Oh, it's good. It keeps you busy scaling up your economy. Chipping away. Look at him go, my little quarry, my little quarryman. Enthusiasm. It's a sort of can-do attitude we want. Look at them go. So this is very much from the original settlers, the expanding the territory like that. It's probably the only real thing that's been kept. Oh, I guess there's sort of towers and... Hmm. Anyway, it's been a long time, to be honest. I shouldn't be the one comparing it to the original settlers, because it's been so long. 
I played Settlers 7 a little bit, but that was sort of a reimagining reboot back in the day, too. Spend that as much as we can. So obviously they take all this stuff back to the warehouse. Um, they will. They will take things like, say, we've got industry next to each other here. They will take things next to each other, but generally this will be the hub for everything. Um, and you will we'll, we'll start to get warnings where the game will say, "Hey, listen, your crap is too far away." from a warehouse, so we might end up having to build a new warehouse up here. Like, exactly that. Building is too far away from your warehouses. So... What would we need for that? More stone, more wood. Yeah, okay, cool. What we could potentially try and do is use the stone roads. They might, in a way, shrink The distance, you know? I'm glad. I can carry any. I've seen the entire village. It's quite amazing. <laughs> I like the banter. Yeah, so the warehouse is going to cost us what? 10 and 10? We could probably we could probably use some more engineers at this point. Might as well, you know. Expand the territory a bit aggressively. The other thing is these missions can go for hours. Like one mission is actually quite I should go to the training grounds. Contained? Robust? No, pick your poison, I guess. I can carry any bird. Hmm. May have shot myself in the foot a little bit there. Our scouts discovered a landmark. We might actually delete this one. To set up where I'll put I'll put a warehouse here, I reckon. A landmark, you say. Grab the goods from that. What is that? Iron ore. Fantastic. Oh, they have to deliver it's an iron mine. Yeah, so I think this will spawn iron on a timer, so it's sort of a special event thing. Don't hold me to it though. Could use another sawmill. That's a bit interesting that the sawmill requires boards in itself. Careful. Be careful. My family is waiting already. Three per minute. Our scouts discovered a landmark. Can collect a reward? Oh, okay. And then we'll be able to prospect this area. Might as well just get it all in our territory. Oh. Fancy that. Oh, it's all coming along, isn't it? I'm trying to save up a bit of wood.
So you can see these these trees are regrowing. Does a sawmill cost five, does it? I wonder if we'd be better off putting a sawmill here. Let's do it, actually. Yeah, that'll work. Like that. We'll get around to the warehouse, but this might be better if we can just auto-build them there. God, look at all my idle dudes. Get surveying. There we go, we found something there. Coal. So that'll be infinite, as long as we tap that. Which is great. So now we haven't got any, any idle carriers, so what I need to do is stop building engineers. And probably want to start building residences, if we're being honest. Can't afford them though. I need boards. Hmm. Ruined iron mine. Okay, so I thought we refurbed it. Maybe you just shore it up. I think there are some later on where you can get a, a semi-regular income from them. No available living space. So once we do this, this will expand our cap. Recruitment complete. And, you know, bring people in. I should go to the training ground someday. I can carry. So even though we're getting that warning, they're still working. They're still chopping trees. This will be interesting, let's watch. Oh look, they're bringing the wood up there. So you can see this dude's taking the wood straight across over to the sawmill, isn't he? Well, maybe he's not. Oh, he's bringing it down here because that's the logging camp he belongs to. This needs to be delivered now he's right bringing now. the horse and cart down to the warehouse. Oh, yuck. We don't want that at all. And for it to register into our usable inventory, it has to be in a warehouse. So, a bit rude. Oh, five? No, I think it was ten. Ten. That's right. And then we've got all these engineers idle. It's gonna be a big expansion effort there. Holy heck. Just gotta keep an eye on these boards. We're making them at a pretty good clip. See, they're delivering them through here. But yeah, once we put a warehouse here, that's going to make life infinitely better. Forester. What do we got here? Logs. Yeah, we, we could probably up our log supply. There we go. 
Perfect. Now we don't have any idle carriers. What are these dudes exploring like crazy? In this game as well, you can hunt. Hunting grounds regrowing. Same idea, right? Infinite, infinite meat. And meat can be used in some of these. I think meat would be used in these ones. Come on, show a little enthusiasm. If memory serves. Get some residences going. Excuse me. This isn't heavy at all. <laughs> These goods are heavy. Wonder if we can. This isn't heavy. That's all. Let me through. What happens if I how much of a mess can I make all this? I'm curious. Nice, look at it come along. Yes. So my economy's coming along. Can I build road there? Path is blocked. So I actually think I want to bulldoze this one that I'm building. Terrain is too steep. Bloody cul de sac almost. Which is cool because see, we're hurting for idle carriers. Alright, that's much better. Now we've got this warehouse here. Very good. We do need more logs. Territory expanding finished. Well, you know what we do with that. We get more. Excuse me. Excuse you. So that's regrowing as well. Okay. So you can't build over the regrowing spots. I don't think you can bulldoze them. Our scouts discovered yeah. a landmark. So you got to work around them. That's all right. A landmark, you say? Until I stone this road up, my little delivery men won't. You know, they're only going to use one-handed stuff, one piece at a time. What have we got here? Oops. Oh, look at this. That's disgusting. Nothing to report. Oh, 
I'm very happy with all this. Resources so, found. fish. Is that something Resources I have found. access to? Resources found. Fishman's hut. I just need more stone. Uh, friggin' logs. Yeah, down here. And you'll find that there are renewable fishing holes as well. I believe. But I don't know if you can actually see them without the blueprint for the fishery. I think we're coming along well. We haven't even tapped any of this because we don't really have a military. I mean, famous last words, but I don't think we have a cause to build a military, not just yet at least. You can see we, we're kind of getting throttled by our production rate. Our boards are at four a minute getting used and we're not producing enough logs. I mean, we are using logs, uh, boards here to build hammers. So the sawmill's having a problem down here. We could probably delete this sawmill. You know what I mean? We've moved our lumber industry out here. We've got the warehouse up there. It seems a little bit of a waste be dragging stuff down there. That probably makes sense, doesn't it? Start just threading roads through there, seeing what we can fit. More logs, please. Hard work is good work. Hard work is good work. Okay, look at this. We're starting to get a bit of a log surplus. Might be able to see what this forest is all about. I'm pretty sure it creates its own little nursery. Its own little enclosed wood generation. You can collect a reward. Alright. Forrester. Not enough resources. Oh, someone pinched me log. Let's do it there. <laughs> all right, mate. <laughs> You're very strong. We're, we're all quite proud of you. Let me little thing go. So this is why you get bread, is to increase your uh, civilian generation rate, which right now might not seem immediately obvious why you'd need that. But if we start burning people in our military, right, if we start sending blobs of a hundred dudes up against this and they just get minced, well then all of a sudden you're going to understand the economy of generating civilians at a fast clip is a big deal, because then they go into the training. So you have this, you, you kind of look at the, your 
economy and logistics when it comes to military production as well. Kind of grim and dark as that is. Your dudes suddenly just become this resource and as part of a, a foundation, foundational building block of, you know, a throughput chain. Just the first step in the uh, training. All right, so I think we're doing all right now. Generating five over three, which is good. Hmm. Let's look at the fishery. Yeah, there you go. You can see. Those are your little fishing spots. Hmm. Our scouts discovered a landmark. Oh, that'll work. That might not be enough to drain those. So you can see they see regrowing. Struggling to find a place to fit these. I love Let's do that. I guess this started there, didn't it? I don't really want to cut in on that circular road. I quite like it. And I guess we could... ...fix my little cul-de-sac road. I wonder if I can sort of walk it. Oh, how cool is that? All right, cool. Maybe we pause there for a moment. How good does it look, though? Love it. All right, cool. Team, let me know if you want to see some more. Otherwise, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.